Ladies and gentlemen, an emergency bulletin has just been handed me. Dateline, North Pole. Santa Claus has been quoted as saying that his Christmas Eve visits may have to be canceled due to Rudolph's illness. Christmas Eve canceled? They can't do that to me. Hey, Sam, what good is hollering? If you want a job done, you clever rabbit, do it yourself. I think I will. I'm gonna take me a trip up to the North Pole and see what's going on. Gotta hit your ride so I can get up to the North Pole fast. Hey! Somebody! Anybody! Stop! Hey, uh, but, 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 Bugs, uh, get in. Uh, but, 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 where can I drop you? This is an emergency, Porky. Drop me at the North Pole. If, if, uh, pardon me, Bugs, uh, but, but did I hear you say in, 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 in North Pole? That's what you heard me say, and we gotta step on it. If we're gonna save Christmas Eve from being a disaster. It, 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 what do you mean, Bugs? Just drive, and I'll tell you all about it. Hey, Porky, isn't that Speedy Gonzalez? <coughs> me. What's up, Doc? Oh, if it isn't Boxy Bonnie and Porky the Pig, you fellas didn't see a big black pussycat, did you? I'm hiding from him. No, we didn't, Speedy. Hey, Speedy, we could use your help. We're hurrying up to the North Pole. You want to come? Are there any pussycats at the North Pole? Nah, just reindeer and snow. And there's, there's, there's Santa Claus and toys. Okay, I come. I need a place to cool off. But why the North Pole? A late report on the illness of Rudolph, the very red-nosed reindeer, indicates that his condition is unchanged. Mrs. Claus is administering chicken soup while Santa is reported to be sulking around the house mumbling, I won't go, I won't go without Rudolph. Well, we made it. I'm in the poop. There is a pussycat inside. You can eat me because I'm too tired to run, I think. Ho, ho, ho. I wonder who that can be. Come in, whoever you are. And uh, what about Christmas Eve? And all the toys? Whoa there, so many questions. Listen, Doc, we're the Consigned Citizens Committee of the Wild, acting on behalf of consigned Christmas lovers everywhere. You can't let us down on Christmas Eve. Christmas isn't Christmas without Santa. That is something everybody knows. Christmas isn't Christmas without Santa. And that fellow with the animals and red nose. <laughs> oh, presents aren't presents without Santa. Children round the world all sit and wait. Presents aren't presents without Santa. So Santa Claus, we beg you, please don't hesitate. Well, it doesn't look good, fellas. Rudolph's still pretty sick. Why, his red nose is positively purple. Oh, and sneezes? Why, even if the poor deer could drag himself out of bed to lead my reindeer on Christmas Eve, one sneeze and all the suburban Minneapolis would have the flu. Oh, he'd start a regular epidemic. And we, we can't have that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Just a minute, Doc, just a minute. We didn't come all the way up to the North Pole to let all the kids in the world down, did we, fellas? You're right, Bugs. See, see, Bugs, but what can we do? You know, rabbits have very sensitive noses. We're always sniffing our way around. So guess who's going to lead Santa's reindeer on Christmas Eve? Folks, you are now looking at Bugs, the red-nosed bunny. You know the old family motto, the toys must get through. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, one and all! Hey, Doc, how many more stops do we have? Oh, these antlers are getting heavy. So, Christmas is and Christmas without Santa. His red suit and his reindeer and his sleigh. Christmas is and Christmas without Santa. And gosh, we wouldn't want it any other way. Your reindeer's antlers, we wouldn't want it any other way.